like a sour, cancerous taste in my mouth after editing that. But welcome back to SSX3, the video game about psychotic snowboarders punching small children in the face. <laughs> Only kidding, it's just Battlefield. And just so you guys know, me looking over here, this is my gameplay. Like, I'm trying to look at what you're looking at. If I look directly into your eyeballs, this is so intimidating. It's almost like commanding your vision over here. I would much rather look over here so that I can see the same thing that you're seeing, almost like I'm just plopped down on the couch next to you. It's like, pass the popcorn, fatty. And now that we've got that out of the way, allow me to start off with a public service announcement reminding you to join a squad. I'm not at all angry when people playing squads by themselves. I just feel sorry for you. Like when some rando runs a mile and a half to get a flag and I just stab him in the chest as soon as he gets there, followed by a pop-up that says squad wipe, as in I slaughtered everyone in his squad, which was just him. It hurts. I mean, you can always just join my Discord server via the link below if you're looking for squad mates. I'm not going to say it's the kindest place in the world. <laughs> At least you won't be playing by yourself. Yeah, you and four strangers could form a secret club and start doing what everyone else is doing in this game, which is setting everything on fire with flares. And admittedly, things were a little rough to begin with when I first started using this thing. I was like, why would anyone use this? It's the worst incendiary grenade ever. And then I got three rounds with it under my belt and oh my God, please nerf. Enemies flock like moths to a flame. Anytime you fire this thing figuratively anywhere, it's almost annoying how well it works. Fire it down a hallway, fire it down the stairs, fire it at the bottom of a ladder. And I think this is a perfect example. Like the flare seems to randomly ignite things that it doesn't even touch. So I ended up lighting both myself and some rando on fire. I mean, I got the kill, so it's definitely worth with a capital W, but it's silly how infectious these embers are. I even took my own advice from the last video and made my own personal funhouse of gas, flares, and a sniper rifle, which somehow is a perfect combination for unlimited no scope. <laughs> You should probably know that it also spots people, has a massive radius, and you can fire it further than Tiger Woods can hit a golf ball. Everybody in this game now is like a secret side hobby of being engulfed in flames. Fun side note, stopping, dropping, and rolling is beneficial to know. Because if you get lit on fire like this guy and start flailing around like a seal being hunted by a bunch of orcas, the fire intensifies and you most definitely die faster. But if you're like this guy and you dive prone, you can get hit with multiple flares and still make it out alive. <laughs> So I guess the moral of this story is just to channel your inner Fred Durst and anytime you get lit on fire, just keep rolling, 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 rolling. Why did no one tell me about the whistle? Like I was in a game with some squad mate and he told me about a whistle that you can toggle in the player interactions, which I was pretty excited about. Go Badger, blow the whistle, blow the whistle, man, you know? You know what I mean? Hold Q and go, press go, 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 blow the whistle. If you hold Q and then go to the left of the socials and press go, 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 oh, just blow the whistle. No. <laughs> yeah, it a couple times. Dude, man, you have to be the leader. Oh wait, never mind. Russian badger's not the leader. Right. Operations is another thing we have to cover because, oh man, it is a blast. Like, you know when you see a gameplay trailer by DICE and you just think to yourself... No, 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 no this is not representative of the... This is, this is... This is not at all representative of the real game. This is not like a round that you would play in-game ever. Ever. And then you play Operations and then it hits you. At least, kind of. It's close. Now, of course, it does kind of suffer from the Battleborn Syndrome of just having so much going on, like gas and flares and smoke and incendiary and grenades, that it's gonna hurt your eyes down to the every last cell in your retinas. I almost find myself feeling like that support player with that goofy-looking visor. Oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. You are kind of forced into running a medic train if you want to succeed, but that's not so bad. All you really need to do is stick a needle into anybody that you come across, like your Obi-Wan Kenobi in train spotting. By the way, Dice, that nifty feature where you tell us how close various medics are so we can decide whether or not to skip the respawn delay, that's a genius idea. I just love how the person you expect to revive you never does. 
ever. Like, I, I would see the goddamn Pope is a nearby medic. I'm pretty sure he's familiar with performing miracles that would resurrect my dead body, but nope, some other rando got to me. Even Wubba Lubba Dub Dub was a pretty decent medic later on in the round, and yes, his name is poking fun at the whole Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. Like, da -da 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 -da. Also, is there any sort of unspoken etiquette when it comes to reviving somebody that's on fire? I mean, you can definitely do it, no doubt about that, even though the guy is gonna be blackened and crispy like a burnt chicken nugget for the next 30 seconds, I would just tell him to walk it off, but I don't think third degree burns covering your entire body is the same thing as a bruised knee. Chicken, chicken nugget, yeah. chicken, chicken nugget, yeah. And oh yeah, that bomber plane from the beta has not changed at all. It's only gotten worse. Like, you know that thing that changes your Battlefield 1 experience in a more of a Call of Duty remastered on shipment 64 player experience? Yeah, that still exists. I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'm a test the sky. Gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die. I'm a Tuska. And that's about it for now. Tune in next time when I talk to my cardiologist about how much monster I've been drinking. <laughs>